She's a comedian, an actress, a co-host on our CBS sister show, The Talk. Please welcome the lovely Cheryl Underwood. So thank you. Fine. Thank you. I'm working on. You know, Sexy. I haven't worn this vest in about 20 years. 20 years. So yeah, I want women to save clothes, have gold clothes. Yes. That you that once you can get in it, get in it. They don't call it skinny jeans for nothing. That's right. But that's now, right. of course, I've opted for like a faux sweatpant jeans. Yes. So that's, uh, I don't know what that territory yeah. means. Well, they say jeggings are out, but jeggings are always in for me. Me too. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care if you think I've given up on life. After two kids, I need something softer. That's right. That's right. Um, but, uh, but I do try and I do make an effort. And, you know, I've been single for a long time. Me too. And we talk about this, Cheryl, like, I think it's interesting. I, th I used to think a lot about what I wanted. Mm -hmm. I didn't focus on what I've come to learn I don't want because right. I didn't know. There wasn't, the learned wasn't there yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it that you do want first? I want to start at friendship. Uh huh. Even though I believe in love at first sight. And I even believe in certain activities could happen if there's chemistry. <laughs> See how I said that? See, I, I like said where you're that. going with this. Right, I'm but, picking up what you're putting you, down. Right. But, I, but I, want, I want to be this person's friend because I'm in another chapter of my life and another journey of my life, so I want to do it with a friend. What is it that you don't want? I, I don't want a man who's mean or rude, especially to other people. Yes. You know, um, to me, if you're going to be mean and rude to other people, what day is that going to come back toward me? And I don't want that. And, and while I want a man who's attractive, you know, I want him to know that it's, it's physical attraction and mental and spiritual attraction um, because that physical attraction could fade, but that love, always stays the same. Yeah. So if he's a good person and can be a good friend, and we like to do fun things together. I like sports, I like politics, I, but I like my alone time and I don't want a man to feel like well, you always have to be with me or under me. I, I want him to let me be with my girlfriends and know that nothing's happening. Nothing's going on, I'm just hanging out with my friends and some of my friends are guys. And platonic guys? Absolutely. Like, can women and men be friends? Most of my male friends are, you know, comics or, or people I do, you know, charitable work with. So we don't really have that thing going. But I have had crushes on people that I would like it to go further. And then I can tell when I'm not her, when I'm not the girl for this guy. Do you tell them that you have a crush or do you wait till you see instinctually that this is going to stay on the friendship level. Well, there's, there, there is a man that I've had a crush on for decades. And wait a minute, though. <laughs> but I've had a crush on him for decades. And he is a performer. And I used to sit in the back of clubs and watch this person. But I would never say anything. Because sometimes when you have a crush on somebody, they may be in a relationship with someone else. So I'm willing to be on the peripheral or be a good friend to this person. Would you ever, if you knew this person was single, would you ever tell them, is the friendship worth risking or not? I, I'm, I might, because I'm, you know, I'm in, at an age where I'm a lot more sure of myself and I don't really care about being rejected anymore. You know, I used to care about being rejected. Now I don't care. Let Tom Cruise walk through here. <laughs> Well, he, uh, yeah. Right. He's not the only Top Gun in the room. Now, come on, we Top Guns. <laughs> come on, let me fly your plane, Tom Cruise, you know, because I'm at a different stage in my life. But, you know, I, I would like to have a companion in my life, you know? And do you care about my motto, if you don't work, we don't work? Oh, absolutely. And you got to work. Everybody get up in the morning and work. Get up. If I'm up, you up. Yeah. You can't stay here and play PlayStation or an eat cereal <laughs> while I'm out working. I don't want, look at the young man going, what? I can't stay home and play PlayStation? <laughs> no, I want a man, I feel like if a guy works at the gas station, 
I'm with it. I know I get free honey buns and Cheetos <laughs> at the gas and gas for free at the gas station. That's right. Whatever you're gonna be, be your own man. Yep. And be that and have something that gets you up every day. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Have you ever tried to date someone who didn't work and you went against your own rules and then realized I, I can't or yes. like yeah, and, and and I would say you know like I have this song I play uh, the two songs uh, Isley Brothers let me down easy but it's not me being let down it's me getting ready to tell him this is not working <laughs> <laughs> and and um, George Duke I guess you're not the one for me and I play it for him yeah. to let him know <laughs> as I... I walk him out the hotel I go this is not working. <laughs> I love, first of all, I love that it's at a hotel. Yes. Um, a, interesting setting. I get that. Because mm -hmm. um, I don't want people, because you don't go too fast with somebody knowing where you live. Because then they, it's not over for them, and then they show up. Mm -mm, no, that's not happening. So you never know my domicile until you can. I love, do yeah. not know my domicile. No. Hashtag not allowed in my domicile. You better know it. You better know it. It's like Elaine. Are you sponge worthy? That's right. You're domicile You're worthy. domicile worthy. You go, um, girl. You know what I, I'm talking about. I understand exactly where that's you're right. coming from. Can't I can't meet the kids too early either. I don't have children, but I don't want to meet a man's children too early if he has children. Because... You know, I fall in love on the first date. So you got kids, I'm bringing a pony and a puppy and skis and all kind of PlayStation and phones and everything. Now the kids is like, why you can't be our new mama? Because I done brought them everything. And, but that, sometimes that's not always the best thing. Okay, well when we come back, we're gonna make a list and check it twice to find a great guy potentially for Cheryl. Who's not rooting for this? I am, don't go away. Yeah.